Okay, here's what I filled with today. You're not going to be able to see this very good because it's getting dark. But uh, I used my little uh, stubble field coil arrangement to make a better spinner thing down here for it. And I, I guess you can't see it very well, so just let me turn it on here and you'll see see what's going on. There we go. That's better. Folks, that's quite a light show right there. And that's running off 12 volts at a volt and a half. And you can see the little spinner just going crazy down there. And that's the plasma spinner. And I'm using the same structure that I used for the stubble field coil. And uh, I've got all this stuff going on. If you add up the, the amount of power that's happening right here, and you add up 12 times 1.5 volts, think about it. Plus, say so you want a little bit more light. I'll just add a little bit more light. How's that? That's a 75 watt light bulb. That's right out of the box. It's not modified in any way. And that's this uh, electrostatic uh, excitation thing in the air. And uh, anyway, uh, this is pretty spectacular if you think about what's going on here and the amount of light that's being produced from that amount of power from a 12 volt source. And uh, I've got the amp draw down uh, to a point where this little transistor is handling it. I haven't burned it out all day today. I did put a heat sink on it. But um, the spinner part was real good. And that worked out well. And let me, I'll stop this here and take the spinner off. See how dark it got all of a sudden. And I'll show you the plasma jet that comes out of this here. There's the plasma jet, the purple plasma jet that's coming out of the bottom of that needle. That's a needle. And then on my little spinner, it's a piece of aluminum with a neo magnet that hangs upside down from that needle. And then the little wires at the end of the spinner are where the plasma comes out. But uh, I'll do that again. I'll put it back on here. It just hangs by magnetism from that needle. And it's the same thing I did with a stubble field. Uh, uh, rotor and uh, it makes a pretty darn uh, pretty darn simple um, arrangement. I get it to go here. There it goes. Anyway, I just want to share that with people. That, that that's a uh, that's a whole lot of light um, coming out of uh, that uh, that power source. And uh, it's all working. Thanks for watching. This is a very interesting project. Uh, if you guys uh, want to study Tesla coils, this is all about a Tesla coil. And um, the oscillator, uh, we believe, is basically a modified Armstrong oscillator is what we're working with here. But uh, it's, um, it's hard to understand.